Morton, I'm the Lord Mayor of London. After the Second World War, when Britain's traditional industries and activities came under economic threat from manufacturing in the Far East and from uh, package holidays to other countries with more sunshine, our reaction tended to be that we had no response. If, if manufacturing was cheaper in the Far East, the factory here shut. If people started to go on holiday to Spain, the English seaside shut. No response. That has a, a bad uh, effect on the community, empty buildings, people in the community who used to work somewhere and they see that place every day. It has a depressing uh, effect and the community doesn't move forward. Now, there's much more positive thinking. We, we look for uh, new ways of, of uh, recreating, rejuvenating our tourist industry. The uh, English seaside uh, does have a much better <coughs> response. It designs activities that will attract people rather than just uh, yeah, giving up. Uh, there is lots of new thinking, lots of innovation, lots more pride in our communities. We do now care uh, about the mill that we used not to like going to because it was dirty and noisy. Uh, we now f look for new uses, innovative, creative uh, uses, uh, uh, doing things there with which we will feel comfortable. Uh, at the same time as there's much greater concern about the environment and environmental sustainability and bringing those two together, we can find new uses for uh, buildings which will make people much happier that the, there is continuity, that the past is not discarded, the past is taken forward in, in clever and innovative uh, ways uh, into the future. There is from time to time in the development of any country sudden moves where we decide we don't like the past, uh, we like what we call uh, the future. That was very much the case after the Second World War. I remember growing up in Yorkshire City in the 1960s, and people suddenly believed very much in the future, and the city had a master plan to knock it all down and rebuild it. It was half knocked down. That is now regarded in the city as being a mistake, and the parts that people now value are the parts that were not knocked down uh, and the, the remaining parts that were built in the 1960s have themselves since been knocked down and are going to be rebuilt in a way that represents a much greater continuity with the past. What should not happen is that buildings should be allowed to fall into decay because that demoralises people, it makes people and the community feel themselves decayed. Uh, so you, uh, uh, you don't want that to happen. At the same time, it doesn't work economically, uh, we can't afford it, uh, and it doesn't work in, in the community uh, atmosphere, uh, in terms of preserving something which has outlived its usefulness. And uh, like nature, a human communities always develop, they always go forward. We Should, shouldn't be trying to preserve the past just for its own sake if it doesn't uh, work. And I don't mean just work economically, uh, work in, in society terms. Uh, there are, in the vast majority of cases, good future uses to which uh, buildings uh, can be put. The Prince's Regeneration Trust is doing precisely that in a number of its projects.